Um, a lot of you are wondering how to create your own recipes using MyFitnessPal. What I'm going to do is walk you through how I actually do that on MyFitnessPal. And the MyFitnessPal app is free. I know there is a paid version, but you don't need a paid version to do this. Uh, what I'm going to show you right now, how to add your own recipe. And it's also really awesome if you do a, one recipe or two recipes a week because before you know it, you have a really big collection of recipes. I have already screen filmed me doing this. So I'm going to watch it on my computer and talk you through what I'm doing and show it over here. First of all, you're gonna open up your MyFitnessPal app and you are going to go to the three little bars. And the three little bars, they're going to scroll down and it will say recipes, meals, and foods. Click on that. Under recipes at the very bottom in the blue line to create a recipe, click on that. You're gonna have two choices. And depending on what you're doing, you can choose. Um, if you have created your own recipe and it's not online anywhere, then you're going to want to choose enter ingredients manually, okay? If you're choosing something from someone else's website, then you can choose add from website. You are going to either choose one of the options from the list or you can enter the, your own website or the website you're going to use in the very top. So I went www.justget.fit, which is my website and it has a bunch of recipes on there. So while you're waiting for that to load, do, 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 do. All right, so here I'm scrolling looking for recipes. I pick uh, an overnight oats. So I scroll through, click it, open up the link. And after you've opened up the link, click on it, open it up, and then you're going to go import recipe. You don't actually have to highlight anything like you did in the above. Just press import recipe and everything will be there. From there, you're going to delete everything that you don't need. That would include the recipe instructions because you're only wanting to keep the ingredients in there. Now, the next parts are really important for accuracy sake. So delete everything you don't need, double check that things like enough milk to cover the oats is removed and clarify anything that just says cinnamon like I did. I'm going to be adding uh, a specific number of grams or teaspoons or tablespoons, whatever it is to each ingredient. Otherwise this will not work. So after you make sure every ingredient has a measurement, then you can press next. Now this is the part where your job is not done yet. I scroll through the list and actually check, do these numbers make sense? So for me, I've been tracking macros a while where I know what should make sense. For me, I look, okay, carbs. I, I actually go through every macro and go, huh, that doesn't make sense. 66 grams of carbs seems really high. So I scroll down, look at the ingredients, and 76 grams of cinnamon is mysterious. So I click on there, huh, 24 grams of carbs are you know, a very small amount, doesn't make any sense. So I go back and clarify that I want ground cinnamon and not whole cinnamon, change that around, and you'll see that there's going to be a big difference in the number of calories and carbs added in the recipe now. So there you go. I'm going to change the measurement to a teaspoon and a tablespoon, and it will be six calories, I believe, that it turns into. Yeah, you can see there's spiced cinnamon ground, six calories instead of 76, so that's a really big difference. When I'm done and happy with everything, you can press OK, and there you go, there's all your macros for that. You can add it to your diary right away, and just put a check mark, add it. If you're gonna eat the same thing tomorrow, you can scroll the next day, and here you go. You click, scroll to the right where it says recipes, you can choose the recipe you want it or that you just added, click it, and it will once again add it. So it makes it a lot easier to add recipes that you're using over and over again, or you can just do it once if you're curious about the macros for something that seems to be healthy or seems to be something that you want to include in your diet. Okay, hope that helped. If you have any questions, let me know, put them in the comments or email me, and I will get back to you guys.